Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us on our Facebook Live. Good morning, everyone. I'm Trisha Sloma. On this Wednesday, I'm coming to you from our newsroom here at WNDU. And on Wednesdays, we do something special around here. We like to highlight the stories of children in foster care who are in need of adoption. It's a program that we've been running since 2020. Actually, right before the pandemic, we launched this these series of special reports on Wednesdays and working with a Indiana Department of Child Services and also Michigan Adoption Resource Exchange, we're able to share the stories of these kids who are in foster care. And they all the systems, it's been um, exhausted as far as trying to find a um, suitable family that will take them in uh, and adopt them. And so we are turning to the public. Uh, the children, perhaps their biological parents have passed away. Perhaps their biological parents are incarcerated, but whatever the case, their rights have been terminated and these children are no longer allowed to be returned to their parents, so they need new parents. And that's the case with so many of these children. A lot of these kids are teenagers and that's where we are trying to step in and say, hey, for the next couple of years, they need a safe place to call home, something safe, something stable, because we know they're at high risk of homelessness if they age out of the system. They're also at risk of pregnancy, uh, substance abuse, or incarceration themselves. So we wanna try to step in and help these kids in these crucial parts of their lives and help them find a new family. Uh, this week, we feature the story of Hagen. Hagen is actually someone who we have had on before. Hagen is a child who is now 15 years old. We have video of him when we met him at the Croc Center. He was swimming, uh, 12 years old at the time, and Hagen uh, just really enjoyed being in the water and also telling his story. He told me he's not picky. Uh, that was the story all over and over again. He said, hey, look, I'm not picky. I'll eat any food. I'll play any game. Any of these video games are fine with me. Um, he's just an easygoing kid. You can see he was wearing his mask uh, there because we shot that story three years ago. Uh, these are pictures of him now. He is uh, a dog lover. He's now 15 years old. He wants to go into the military. So an update to his story. He wants to go into the military someday. He would like to also perhaps go to college. So Hagen is our featured story this week. We're revisiting his story because I learned from Indiana Child Services that he has not been matched. And um, we know that's the case with several of the kids that we featured in our Wednesday's Child segment. We know that uh, they've been matched and perhaps adopted. We have had 30 kids adopted from our Wednesday's Child program, and that's really cool. So we certainly hope that um, this is going to be the case with uh, Hagen because Hagen is a great kid and he needs to find a new home. And again, our Wednesday's Child segment is something that runs every Wednesday and we know that it works. So we're hopeful that we can get these kids a place to call home. That's what we call our segments when we uh, successfully get these kids adopted. Now I want to share the stories of what uh, you're going to see tonight. This is, uh, or like last week, you can find this story on our website, I should say. This story is Leela. Leela was our featured kid from Grant Me Hope. Leela um, was, is a foster child from the state of Michigan, and she is just an incredible kid. She runs track, and she's really good at the 100 and 200 meter dash, and uh, we know that she is soft-spoken. She wants to go into cosmetology, work in a spa, uh, hair and makeup someday. So um, she is a talented young lady who just needs to find a forever family. She wants to stay in touch with her siblings, and that is the case with so many of these kids. Um, you know, we hear from kids that are uh, in foster care, and they say, you know, my, my older sister got adopted, or my older sister aged out of foster care, but I still want to stay in touch with her. And uh, yes, when it's appropriate, yes, these, these kids will continue to have a relationship with their biological siblings. However, it's not the case with their parents. So um, this is something maybe that uh, is important to these kids, being able to talk to an older brother or sister. So that's the case of Leela. She, um, again, is a high school kid, likes so many things about school because she is um, 
very active and has a lot of friends and um, soft-spoken though I remember her video was um, you know she talked really soft and was just really uh, eager to talk about what she wanted to be when she grew up so um, you can check out Lila's story on her website again that one aired last week so we always try to repeat the stories just a little bit and share a little bit more about each kid as possible so that uh, we can do the, the the right thing and get their stories out as much as possible if you go to our website wndu.com you will find our stories all of our Wednesday's child stories are there under the tab Wednesday's child you find it under community and that's where you can find out more about these kids when you click our story there are links to each one of in these stories there are links to either Indiana Adoption Program or Michigan Adoption Resource Exchange and Grant Me Hope. And that's how we're able to tell the Michigan stories. Our friends at Grant Me Hope uh, do the video recordings with these kids. They talk to the kids, they have them share a little bit of their history, their little bit of their likes and dislikes about life, school, um, their favorite foods, their favorite hobbies. And um, then that is really fun. We're able to tell those stories from Michigan because of our friends and partners there at Grant Me Hope. Um, and again, we put them all on our website. Then they're also linked, our stories are then linked to um, the Indiana Adoption Program. And w again, you can find out more with Michigan Adoption Resource Exchange. So they try to make it easy. So if you want to become a foster parent with the intention to adopt, the first step is to become a foster parent. And there is a huge need for foster parents because the system is just overrun with kids right now. Um, there's a lot of issues with uh, substance abuse in both Indiana and Michigan. A lot of the kids get taken away because of abuse or neglect. And that is the case with a lot of these kids that we feature in our Wednesday's Child segment. So we're hoping that uh, these kids just get the support and stable life that they so need and deserve. So um, that's what we're hoping with our Wednesday's Child segments that we can get their word out get their stories out and perhaps get them a home because that's exactly what these kids need. So we certainly hope that uh, you'll be able to uh, see our stories and uh, join us for our Wednesday's Child segments. We will be sharing our Wednesday's Child tonight just before six. And again, that is where we are with our Wednesday's Child segment. So um, we thank you for joining us and we will be back again on Wednesday with another Facebook Live. Thank you for joining us.